Hello everyone, I am Captain Devil Soli and welcome to Golden Airplace Aviation. And today is a training flight and I'm fly flying with my first officer Gorvantuk. And today we will be learning ECAM. In this ECAM, the full form is Electronic Centralized Aircraft Monitoring. And this ECAM has got two screens. One is the upper screen and one is the lower screen. This upper screen is called Gurang, is called EWT, which is engine and volume display. The lower display is called system display. So this is EWD and this is SD. So EWD stands for engine and volume display and SD stands for system display. Wonderful. It's related, it shows you the engine parameters and it gives you warning display as well. So, if you see on the screens, can you see this N1? This one. Can you see this? What is this? EGP. Yes. What is this? N2. Yes. What is this? F dot. Yes. This which is fuel flow. Fuel flow. Okay. So, all these parameters are related to engines. Okay. As the name suggests, it is EWD, engine oil display. So, these parameters are displayed with regards to it. It's, these are engine parameters. So, if you see L1, on the left side, it is 88.6 and right side, 88.6. Yes. So, these are the N1, uh, which is the compressor RPM in percentage of left engine and the side on the right engine. Next is EGT, which is exhaust gas temperature of left engine. And right engine. Next is in N2. This is N2 of left engine. This is N2 of right engine. Right engine. So N2 is basically a compressor RPM in percentage. Gorang. Uh, okay. So it means this. So N1 which is 88.6%. It means that the low pressure compressor of this engine is currently rotating at 88.6 percentage of its full rotation speed. Okay. okay. So more is the uh, L1 and N2, more is the thrust the engines are producing. Okay. So during takeoff, the N1 and N2 will be the highest. Okay. Or or maybe during go around. Okay. When during go around we always put to toga, which is the full power. And yes, at that point of time. The, the thrust produced by the engines is our highest. At that point of time, you N1 and N2 will also be the highest. The next is uh, Goran, uh, is fuel flow. So it is showing efficiency uh, in the blue, it is written kg per hour. So it means like left engine is consuming 4,260 kilogram per hour. Okay. At this time, because the power is, is very high, it is at a takeoff power. That's where the fuel flow will also, will also be higher. But do it, as the flight progresses, when you st when you climbing, uh, when when you cruise, when you descend, when you approach, the fuel flow will, will differ. Okay. Then here is the fuel on board, which shows how much is the fuel right now in the tanks in totality. Total fuel. Total fuel right now in in you know including of all the tanks. The left side also, right side also. Okay. And then left and right you have you know. Uh, like inner tanks, outer tank, and surge tank also. Okay, so it, this is in total. Then this is for the flap. Okay, once you uh, once you take flaps, okay, uh, then your your slats and flaps also get extended, and then it will be shown here. Okay. Then um, so this things I will explain you later because this these are the memos which needs a more understanding, which will be discussed in the later sessions. But Gorari, I will explain you this. This is a system display. No, uh, system display means, Gorang, like in 320, there are various systems, like uh, a bleed system, pressurization system, conditioning system, hydraulic systems, okay? Um, various other systems. So, to see their parameters, this screen is there okay? So let's say if you press engine, so I press engine, 
and this the the displays change now if you want to see more parameters of the edges so okay so in this you you can see fuel used right so what is written here got us 70 70 and what is 70 so what does mean what does it mean 70 kg has been used yes till now correct by the left engine and 70 kg has been used by the right engine right engine perfect very lovely what is this or oil and this is quantity okay so this is the uh, uh, 16.8 16.8 is the oil quantity then uh, oh, sorry psi so it means what is the oil pressure okay so currently it is all question so all the parameters should be in green okay if it is if any parameter is in timber or red then it means something was wrong okay can we need to take an immediate actions v20 basically uh, computers you know whenever the parameters are exceeding let's say whenever we start engines and if the any parameter is exceeding okay the fedex computer will abort the do start in most of the cases yes there are some few cases in which we have to abort uh, about the uh, engine start but in most of the cases computers are there to maybe the notices okay and what is this this is this is the temperature then uh, these are the vibrations okay this what are the vibration being uh, you know i mean on the n1 or, or or in the compressors okay on the left side and the right side then these are these are called permanent data this is if you can let's yeah if you can read this for the uh, for everyone ead plat uh, that is uh, plus 9 degrees celsius and sat sat plus 9 degrees celsius correct so um, do you know what is tat and sat okay So basically, TAD is a total air temperature. So when the aircraft is moving, because of the ramp rise, because uh, because the air molecules are hitting the aircraft, the temperature of the entire aircraft is uh, you know is rising. So what is the uh, you know the uh, what is the the total temperature being felt by the computer that is called TAD, and this SAT is actually the outside air temperature. Okay, so. Then this is a UTC time, five bars and twelve minutes, which is also, also here. Then this is the gross weight of the aircraft cut, and this part. Okay. Oh, uh, Kanan, any questions? Any doubt? If you would like to ask? No, sir, not at all. Oh, uh, thank you so much, everyone, and I hope to, uh, this session and this trading session might have helped you in understanding few things about the ECA. and if you have uh, something more uh, queries and if you want to know some systems or something about uh, anything on three prodis please feel free to comment down and we will be happy to share that through our trading sessions thank you so much and thank you for being a part of this training thank you so much for making me familiar with these two screens that will be help thanks so much